Hi. <laughs> Um, my question today is about children. I have young children who I, as I learn more, want to have them become more knowledgeable and follow the same path. And I'm wondering what More knowledgeable is, of what? Of, you know, source energy and um, just becoming more aware of how to live life so that they can experience more joy and... Um, what's the best way to involve your children in this, to educate them in this, as well as to, there's obviously a resistance to that. How and, so? Um, when they bring up the subject to other people, they um, may find resistance, whether it's another family member or possibly a friend. And so, Living life happily ever after is frowned upon in your culture? Being all that you were born to be is frowned upon using your intuitive senses and letting the power of that which you were born to be reflect out into the fullness of this moment in time uplifting others and assisting them in doing the same that's not going over big in your environment is that what you're saying <laughs> the good news is they're all closer to knowing that than their parents mm -hmm. are in other words they all remember they are always trying to get you to be less specifically bothered about things and to step mm -hmm. back into a more general place of knowing well-being what are their ages 10 9 7 and 4 and the four-year-old lives within the vortex trust me but <laughs> the 10 year old struggles so have you noticed that you can't observe a discordant moment without feeling the discord within yourself and that then your power of influence is puny you have nothing to give them so let's just start by saying you can't teach when you're out of the vortex and you can't teach with your words either strange that we offer so many isn't it mm -hmm. because words don't teach it's only life experience that teaches so you must demonstrate if you're wanting them to really get it something that even though they may be hearing otherwise they're witnessing something all around them as far as you're concerned or as far as their awareness of you is so you just want to demonstrate your alignment to them yes yes so is this conversation because sometimes you witness things that cause you to not be in alignment because we can feel a little circular thing going on Abraham I've got these kids and I really want to be in the vortex but they often cause me to get out of the vortex so could you teach me how to keep them in the vortex so it'd be easier for me <laughs> to be in the vortex that'd be great that's sort of exactly what you were saying exactly what you were saying is and you're not unlike a lot of other people because it does feel better when what you're observing just naturally feels better and in some ways we've got to give this to you hear it we're only going to give it to you once now we'll give it to you over and over again <laughs> that is the path of least resistance it is nice to hang around with nice people because when you're hanging around with nice people they're nice you feel nice it's easier for you to be in alignment with who you are when what you're observing makes it easy but it also can cause you to develop a dependency on something that you can't do which is to control their niceness you see you can't control anybody's niceness but you can inspire niceness from your place of niceness so the trick is it's not a trick it's a skill how can I as a parent stay in the vortex or stay in alignment with who I am when I'm observing otherwise as a parent one of the things that trips you up more than all other things put together is you care about how your children are seen in the world you want them to behave you want them to represent you well we know you want them to be happy but you want them to be understood you want them to understand you want them to be perceived in a positive way because you have shown yourself through your own experience that when you behave in a pleasing way pleasingness comes back to you but there's a trap in it have you noticed have you noticed that if you're running around trying to stand on your head in all kinds of different ways in order to please that one and that one and that one and that one and that one what's the first thing that begins to happen you begin to feel resentment because you are sacrificing what you put into your vortex you're sacrificing all that you've become in order to please that one and 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 now you're trying to teach that to your kids you see so we know 
there are a lot of people out there that are holding tight to those principles that are not wanting anyone to understand that they create their own reality but do you know who most wants you to not believe that you create your own reality think about it who does not want you to know that you create your own reality those who need you to be different so that they can feel better because they haven't figured out how to create their own reality in other words they don't know how to line up with source energy they're freaked out if you have a religious difference they're freaked out if you have a political difference they're freaked out if you think anything different than they do you're constantly asking for each other's agreement but you ask for the agreement of others from your place of insecurity because you're trying to replace the agreement that you have between who you really are with some agreement that's far less you see now that was a lot of basis that we gave you there but we just wanted so much for you to understand that you don't want your kids to behave you want to be all right whether they do or not you don't want to control your kids you want to feel good whether you can control them or not and the sooner that you discover that you can't control them but you can control your response to them then the more solidly you'll be in your grid the greater your power of influence and the more they'll begin to understand that they can live a wonderful life too just like you do you see. here is the piece for parenting that trumps everything that we've ever said to any of you about parenting and we've said plenty to you about parenting prepaving is the key don't wait until somebody's having a meltdown and you're having your knee-jerk reaction version of your meltdown and now you're all out of it don't wait until then prepave it prepave it go to bed remembering how good it feels to be in alignment not just with your kids but with all kinds of other things you know what goes wrong with most parents regarding most children your children we want to put it in the right terminology because they're not doing it to you you're doing it to them and blaming it on them your children often are the excuse you use to not feel free because they represent responsibility and they represent needs they represent things that you need to turn your attention to but when you discover the leverage of parenting from the alignment of the grid in other words think about the difference between getting up not meditating not coming into alignment not doing positive aspects and not establishing yourself in your grid so imagine not doing any of that you just sort of blunder into your day so the first thing that happens is you observe something that you really would rather not have observed so now you're off on the wrong foot already you're having a reaction to what's going on and now that reaction is just happening back and forth back and forth and you're telling yourself I'm not a good parent I should be doing something different I, I don't want it to be like that you're using words to try to turn it around it's not turning it around it's just practicing that grid more it's just making them feel more defensive it's just perpetuating the very thing that you don't want and then a wonderful thing happens the end of the day comes and you get to go to bed so now you go to bed and as you lie there in your bed do your best to appreciate the comfort of your bed go as general as you can think about the things that feel the least contentious to you and go to sleep and when you awaken in the morning spend some time find the time really set your alarm 15 minutes early if it requires that but lie there with the determination that before you go out into your physical world that you're going to establish your grid with your non-physical world because what will happen then is your grid will begin filling in with things that match that your grid will fill in with cooperative children your grid will fill in with cooperative traffic your grid will fill in with your best ideas your grid will fill in with you being tuned in tapped in turned on your grid will fill in with you anticipating things before they happen your grid will fill in with you being so energetic meaning so on top of whatever's going on so aware of the energy that you can say the right thing before it gets off on the wrong footing you see what we're getting at the cooperative components of this universe are enormous we cannot even begin to describe the leverage of alignment and we can't think of any subject that if we were standing in your physical shoes we would want to apply it to more deliberately than the subject of parenting because you don't care about anything as we talked about before as much as you care about that apply this conversation to everything to your employee relationship to your relationship with people in your neighborhood relationships it's such an interesting thing 
most people do not tend to the only relationship that sets them in their power instead they knee-jerk response to relationships all around them and then from outside the vortex and from outside their power try to figure out how to gain the most leverage really clear really clear enough something more I think that um, the biggest challenge is there's four of them and one of me <laughs> that's mm -hmm. only a legitimate conversation if the five of you are outside the vortex because you're right they'll gang up on you and they'll win <laughs> but if you have connected with the energy of who you are if you've connected with the love of who you are if you've connected with the clarity of who they are if you've connected with the well-being of them if you've connected with the brilliance of them and the wonder of them and the expansion of them and the beauty of them if you're in alignment with that you know what you're going to draw out of them that they can't buck that current no one can buck that current when you're tuned in tapped in turned on you are powerfully influential but the reason most of you don't know that is because you haven't been consistently tuned in tapped in turned on you haven't practiced the power of the grid practice it for a week and we'll have an entirely different conversation serially serially <laughs> it's Esther and Kate's new Esther would say seriously and then she thought I don't ever want to be serious serially <laughs> I think that um, the four-year-old does pull us all back in so we're fortunate that way but it is easy for me to all right well, every morning wake up and say you're in charge <laughs> good thank Very you good.